Alexa lights on. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, welcome to another Life Journal episode. So today we have a very, very special episode. I've done something like this on my channel where I sort of look back at uh, things that the old me has created, the younger me, the more naive me, the chubbier me, and I react to it with a sense of, uh, you know, maturity in terms of my growth as a, as a musician, as a singer, as a creator. So for today's video, I'm gonna be diving, diving in. I'm gonna be diving in into the depths of my YouTube channel and possibly Facebook if I can't find anything there and looking back at the old singing videos that I used to make back in the day. I got my coffee right here. I hope you guys have your snacks and your drinks and whatnot because this will be a good time. Cheers. Let's go down to my channel. If you guys aren't already subscribed, please do so. All right, so we have these three down here. This one has 1.2 thousand views eight years ago, 904 views eight years ago. This has 5.8 thousand views seven years ago. So we can check out this uh, cover of Angel by Cody Simpson. Ah, oh, God, man, this is always a little bit cringe. One, two, three. <laughs> this. <laughs> Dang, it's only in 360p. I can't even go down to like, it's not even like 480 or 720. Hey, it's me, Shedman. And I'm gonna do a cover of Angel by Cody Simpson. First of all, my voice. And because she wanted me to, Kylie, this is for you. Okay, uh. <laughs> I don't know why I did this. I, I guess. In my head somewhere, I thought that I actually had like people who watched my stuff and whether that's true or not, Kylie was a distant friend. I wasn't really like, too close to her and she was like, you should do this cover. And I was kind of like, <laughs> since she asked, here you go. My angel, how'd you get to be so fly? How'd you get to shine so bright? Is it bad that I still remember this song? How'd, How'd you, get you get to look like that? that? Heaven, don't you call her back yeah. My mouth was like so wide whenever I sang It was kind of like lazy singing But I mean, I was matching pitch I was hitting the pitches What am I doing with my face? Okay, some things I'm noticing. Good job on Pat Shedman for filming by a window. The light that you can see is shining on my face. That's good. And I was filming this on my iPod Touch. I remember just having to prop this on like the ledge because I didn't have any sort of mounts for the iPod Touch and it would always slide down. So like as I was playing, it would be like, this, this is how it looked. I, I would be playing my guitar and then the frame would be like, it would look like this because it would be sliding down as I'm singing and then I would get so mad because it kept sliding down and I didn't think to just put like a pencil or something in front of it to just keep it from doing this as I'm singing. Uh, in terms of my singing, it was, it was very bright, my tone was very bright, everything was sort of, you know, up in my, up in, up in here, I was singing up here. Bright, bright necessarily isn't bad. But you could tell I, was, I wasn't doing it purposefully. I was just doing it because that's the only way I knew how to. My guitar playing wasn't bad. I was like 14 in terms of like the chord changes and like my, my playing, it really wasn't bad. I'm still using a pick though. At some point I really got tired of using a pick. I was like, God, Lee, I'm just, this is so bad. I hated the sound of a pick on an acoustic guitar. So I just used to start using my, uh, my fingers. And then that's also when I started learning how to pluck. Honestly, it's not it's not it's not that bad yet. Like let me know if like I missed something. This is like a dream. Every bit of you it makes me Oh, 
I was gonna say this, like my facial expressions. Like I'm not looking at the camera. I know that I'm still kind of really bad at like looking at the lens itself because like there's a difference between looking at the viewfinder versus this. If I'm not used to doing that right now, I'm definitely not used to it in this era of my life. Uh, you can tell that I'm sort of looking away from where the camera is. It looks a bit weird. It feels a little bit distant. Also facial expressions. A little, a little smiles here and there. I definitely could have used a little more uh, emoting while I was singing, or at least like looking like I was into the music as opposed to trying so hard to look good, whatever looking good was then for me. How did I get you in the sunlight? In the sunlight? I must be here. I could not hit that note. I'm looking at an angel who's staring back at me. You can tell this is a little high for me because I'm craning my neck a little bit. I'm like, I'm like singing like this. Just support, come on, boy. I also have this weird tan going on. If you guys notice, it's like. Of your heart, I can listen to this song forever. Forever. You're the breeze, cruising down my coast. I'm the jam, baby, you're the toast. And we're so sweet when we're together. <laughs> hey. If I rule the world, I name an island for you. Island for you. Tell all your girls, I name an island for you. Hey, hey. I'm hey. Hey, look, like my face looks so dead. <laughs> Above your head, and it shines so bright in the sunlight. In the sun. Okay. My angel, how'd you get to be okay. so? A little outro. How'd you get to shine so bright? How'd you get to- <laughs> Let's, let, let me just rewind that. Do you guys see that? Do you guys see what I did? There was like, I don't know, like a truck or a helicopter or something. How'd you get to And you see me like look in the corner. How'd you get to- I must have- When I was a kid, I used to do so many takes just to get like a decent one. I must have been like so many takes in because the fact that I kept this in the final cut that I actually posted means that I could not have been bothered enough by that really obnoxious noise of a helicopter or whatever that was to not redo one. This song must have given me so much trouble that I was like, all right, I'm at the end. I hear the helicopters, but hey, whatever. I'm still posting it. <laughs> Heaven, don't you call her back? Resolve. So, that was it. I hope you liked it. Heaven, don't you call her back? Wow. So, like, I'm surprised I didn't go back to that C chord. That's really weird because, you know, it's like you're, le you're left sort of hanging and you kind of want to hear that. Because it's like, my angel, how'd you get to be so fly? How'd you get to shine so bright, girl? How'd you get to look like that? Heaven, don't you call her back? And I just ended on this. This G, I feel like a lot of beginners would want to resolve back to the the C just to 
close it, like the little cherry on top on that song. But like, I don't know if I was like, oh, everybody resolves, let's like hang it on the sea so it's a little suspended and not go to the sea. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. It was like years ago, but I, that's, that's really interesting. <laughs> All right, I have a song that, uh, it's not one of my oldest songs. It was about six years ago. And I wanted to choose this one because I don't remember how it goes, but I have a specific memory with it where in high school, I had uh, Kiana, Kiana Bonello. She made one of her classes that she was in watch the video that I had just posted. I think this was freshman year right here. And I remember she told me and like people from the class were telling me like, oh wow, I want we watch your video. It was really cool that you sang and blah, blah, blah. And like, I received so many compliments that day. I just have that memory just ingrained in my head because things like that, moments like that in my life that made me like feel good about what I was doing because I was putting so much effort into it. You know, like those were the memories that sort of kept me going and like kept me singing and made sure I followed through with whatever I did. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure that one day is a song about like dreams. A song I made of my dreams of becoming a musician. Hey guys, it's me Shedman. Um, I haven't really posted an original in a while, so. Yo, like those glasses that I'm wearing, I got those in eighth grade, I think. And I remember thinking like I was so cool, but they look so bad. But like you can see, I have like the whole setup. I have a mic in front of me. I'm pretty sure that gets hard. I was hooked to an amp. I have the sheet music in front of me with the lyrics and the chords. And uh, in my mind, I was like, yo, if I, if I want to make it big, I got to put as much effort into this thing that I'm doing. No matter if it's just like a hobby or something that I re take really seriously, I just 100% and I've, I've always been like that. Oh, here you go. Um, I really haven't memorized the song since I just finished, like, f finishing the song. So, I'm gonna be reading it off. I was so and bad at talking to the, the camera really back then. But, you know, people make mistakes. So, I'm gonna be playing it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Sorry, my uh, my camera stopped. Uh, <sighs> I, I love this. I remember the song and why I wrote it. And watching it, you know, six years later, I feel like the words still resonate to uh, myself and my dreams and my passion and, you know, my mindset with my work ethic and uh, my vision for who I want to be. And I, I, I'm getting a little emotional. I feel like my whole life I've been, you know, trying to prove myself, you know, to my parents, to my friends, to the world of what I'm capable of. And to show them that like the, these hobbies, these things that I, I really love doing is something that I want to be doing for the rest of my life. And that it, there's something that I want to, you know, be successful at whatever that word means. You know, I feel like I've always been told that I'm good at a lot of things. And while I feel like that's true to some extent, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try hard <laughs> when it comes to a lot of things. And, you know, I feel like that mindset naturally puts you 
ahead of some people. While that's also true, you know, these activities that I love, I would spend hours and hours and put so much time and effort into them. And you know, with that, it just, you just naturally bound to get better. I feel like that's why I've, I've been told that I'm just good at these things. You know, there've been times where I, I do like hearing that, but most of the time I'm kind of like, it sort of undermines all this, <laughs> all this effort and thought and time that I've invested in this skill, in this passion, in this hobby to make it as good as what the people see. Let's uh, let's keep watching. So I'll sing the time away. It's the only thing I know how to do. Take my thoughts and emotions astray and put them into words I subdued, throwing all my doubts away. Have a little smile. <laughs> Drawers full of paper and ink, words and melodies undone. <laughs> Songs of love, <laughs> hope and glory. I write until the memories are gone. Someday you'll see. All the people there will know my name They'll be shouting out Words I've written Enjoying my music and fame Damn. So I'll sing the time away It's the only thing I know how to do Take my thoughts and emotions astray Put them in the words I subdued, throwing all my doubts away. You don't see that jawline? I, I don't have that anymore, bro. It was so sharp. Do you see that? That I will make it someday. So I'll sing the time away. Mm hmm. A really long song. When I grow old, I will look the melody is really repetitive, though. To calluses and lack of rhyme, the sleepless nights playing my music. I got what I wanted in time. Cause I sang my life away. It's the only thing. You know, it wasn't it wasn't perfect. Uh, it didn't need to be. As somebody who hasn't watched that in years, I sort of got what I was trying to say. The fact that I wrote that, you know, like new new freshman, I just come out of eighth grade. 
I feel like back then there was so much conviction in me and confidence knowing that I was gonna end up somewhere. At the end of the song, I switch from talking about wanting to make it, you know, chasing after this dream of mine, and I switch. Like the last verse and chorus, it, it becomes past tense as if I'm remembering the time when everything changed, something clicked, and then now I'm on the other side. And I think it's just really interesting that I had that idea to do that back in high school. If you guys like this video, like the video, comment down below if you guys want me to do more stuff like this. I'll be stuck indoors, so I'll be doing uh, a few more like sit down talk videos and just trying to rack my brain as to how I'm gonna keep this schedule up being, you know, self-isolated. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next Life Journal episode. Y'all know me now. Y'all know me now. Y'all know me now. Y'all know me now.